This is the MC1650 LS. It is another common motor control board that is found in treadmills. And just like the MC2100, it requires a signal generator in order to adjust speed. Greetings fellow DIYer and welcome to my video. Here we have the MC1650LS compared to the MC2100. This is an older board, it's not as new as the MC2100. This board is a previous generation of this board. This board improves on a lot of things that this board has, but this is also a very usable board for controlling a treadmill motor. From the factory, this board comes with a pigtail that has a blue, green, red, and then black wire. And that is where you hook up the signal generator to control this board. I purchased this board specifically for this project to make sure that I could indeed power it so that I could create this video. And so I don't have the pigtail that plugs into this section. I went through all my treadmill parts and I don't even have a four connection connector. However, after doing a little bit of testing, I discovered that the last terminal on this is the ground and this is also a ground. So all that needs to happen to hook this up is you use the top three terminals. And I have lots of three terminal connectors. So here we have my signal generator. Like I said, the wires that come out of this are just some that I had in my parts box. So the colors do not match the original wiring harness. And then that's my three prong plug. The nice thing is you can put a smaller plug in a bigger socket. Place that there, that connects those three wires. And then this last one that I have is the ground. And that's all that's needed to hook this up. Here's the breakdown on the signal generator. Volts negative, so that's ground, so that's this green one and it's going here. Volts positive, that's this red one, and that's actually a color that matches. It goes into this third from the top connector. Then we have the pulse width return line, and here it's saying it's a ground, and that goes right there. And if you have the original wiring harness, that's the green one. And then the pulse modulation signal that comes out of here, this would normally be a blue wire, and that's this top one right there. So everything's wired up. I've got the AC current coming in on this side, and then I've got the DC current going out to the motor. When we power it on, nothing happens. But just like with the 2100, if we turn the signal generator off and then turn it back on, it will begin to spin up to speed and work as it's supposed to. And once it's running, you have the option to turn the dial and adjust the speed. Now, one very important thing to note is that just like with the MC2100, you must set the signal generator at 20 Hertz. To set the Hertz on this unit, you simply push the knob twice and then you'll see a little mark right here next to the Hertz so that you can adjust it. At that point, you turn the knob. We can take it down. Oh, it went too far, so we'll go back up. 20, 20 is where you want it set at. If you have it set on a different Hertz, it will not function properly. Just like with the MC2100, we can turn this off and on using this button. But if we're not using that button, we have to play by the rules of soft start. So if I power everything down, and then I power back on, nothing's powering up. But if I take this all the way to zero pulses, and then I turn it back up, the motor will start spinning. If the treadmill you're parting out happens to have one of these boards, it is a good option and it can be used to power your shop tools or whatever else you're using that treadmill motor for. 
However, it is, in my opinion, not quite as high quality as the MC2100. And it is functional, it'll work. If that's what you have in your machine, you can use it. But the MC2100 is a better option. If you like what you've seen, please click like. If you'd like to see more, please subscribe. Thanks for watching.